What's going on YouTube? Mr. Beantown here bringing you guys some Washington Redskins gameplay. It's going to be RG3 going up against Big Ben and his tough defense. Let's see if we can get things started off on the right foot. There's a few things I want to talk about today. First thing, type of Madden player I am. I'm not the best, nowhere near it. I think my skill level is around a 10 or 11, so I'm not that good. I do win about 70% of my games, but the games I do lose are, are ones that I deserve to lose. Me beating myself. But as we start off with Brandon Banks getting a touchdown, I don't know what it is about that guy. Whenever I play as a Redskins, I'm always due for at least one huge return with him. Seems like he's a glitch as we get a phantom pass interference penalty right there as Big Ben threw it right into the ground. That was Madden's way of saying you score to kick off. And we got to give him some sort of luck back. So, Like I said, the type of Madden player I am, I feel I'm one of the more legit players as we get the CPU pick. This game is starting off a lot better than our last video where we couldn't do anything but turn the ball over. I don't have a specific team that I use. I typically match up with my opponent as RG3 scrambles out of the pocket and gets down before he is hit. And that's a good tip, guys. If you're not running on a QB designed run, when you see an opponent coming after you, slide. Because odds are you're going to fumble that ball and it's very easy for QBs to lose the ball, especially if you don't have a quarterback with a pretty decent carry rating. But Washington, they're one of my favorite teams to use just for the simple fact that RG3 is basically the best quarterback in Madden. He has pinpoint accuracy. I think his speed is in the 92s. That's just crazy for a quarterback. Makes it easy to swerve the spy. And if you're going to play Fagsy against them, you're going to get torched by, by his legs. So not only that, he can put the ball on the dime. He has incredible accuracy as we allow Big Ben to scramble out of the pocket as we miss the tackle the computer comes over and saves us but I feel like I'm one of the more legit players I don't I don't play fag D I don't nano blitz don't a gap don't turbo any of that stuff so unless my opponent decides he wants to do that then I'm gonna stop pulling out the trickery I'm not gonna go for it on fourth and some on for my own side of the field give them excellent field position I'm not going to abuse the same plays over and over wheel routes streaks uh, right up the middle with the precision passing all that stuff's overpowered I don't find any fun in that as RG3 gets tackled at for a gain of one but typically I give my opponent the benefit of the doubt as we see RG3 go deep and we get a nice 75 yard touchdown that's RG3's deep accuracy that I'm telling you about we picked on that left side of the field the entire game. I don't know what it was. We knew Ike Taylor was on the other side, and he is one of the best cornerbacks in Madden. He has great speed, great cover skills, and he's a ball hawk. So we decided to pick on Keenan Allen <clears throat> main for the main reason that he couldn't keep up speed-wise with our receivers. So we either had to press us to take away the out route, and then we would go over the top. Or the simple fact that he would be playing off of us and that would leave the out route wide open. Man, he was playing a lot of man with a, a lot of blitzes, so that made it easier for us to get rid of the ball. As he goes to Mendenhall and that counter weak, that counter run play, man, that is that is one of the most overplowed running plays in this game. As he goes for a fake field goal and he converts, I was really disappointed in myself there. But. We get the ball, two minutes to go, RG3 gets crushed, as we go into a two minute warning, second and six, we hit the out route to Santana Moss, see how he wasn't playing on us, so we'll take that all day. I'm not going to abuse the same plays, but if you're going to keep giving it to me, I'm going to keep taking it. I'm not going to try and make any plays happen, I'm not going to force anything, as Pierre Garçon gets crushed by Lawrence Simmons, we were lucky enough to have Roy Hallou come up with that ball. As we run the read option, we feel like we had a big play there. Blocks were set up, but we had the Infinity Engine come through, and we ran into our own lineman. Again, Santana Moss out route. Going to keep taking that all day. See how he pressed in his, his wide receivers. That gives us the opportunity to go deep with Pierre Garçon in his, believe, 95 speed. He was going to torch that corner all game. Now he has 24 seconds left, three timeouts. We fail again with our user skills. I'll tell you what, guys, my user skills are horrific. So if you guys play me and you see that I'm controlling a guy, go after him. As you can see again, we fail on two tackles. Antonio Brown goes down to the nine-yard line. He has two timeouts left as he goes to the flat route. Rashard Mendenhall 
Ooh, he stays in bounds, forcing him to burn a timeout. Running the counter play again. This time we stuff him. Three seconds left, we, and he goes for his field goal. Smart move my opponent. Like I said in my last video, guys, these most of these games come down to a matter of a few points. Take your field goals. Don't try and score a touchdown unless it's the fourth, fourth quarter and you know you're going to need the points. Because, oh, oh, man. Antonio Brown, uh, Manuel Sanders breaks the tackle and he reverses the field. It looks like he's gone, but we're able to take him out at the 29-yard line. Excellent field position for my opponent. And all I'm thinking here is, as who is that? Dwyer? <sighs> Breaking two tackles head on. But my opponent goes to the streak route. We were just hoping to hold him to a field goal here, but unable to do so. What we do next, RG3. Scrambles out of the pocket. He had one spy on us. We swerved that, no problem. Big gain. Next play, RG3 going deep. Santana Moss caught. Nice 54-yard touchdown play, as we were saying. We just kept picking on that left side as we go for two to make it a seven-point game. We hit Fred Davis on the zig route. We're up by seven. We drop an interception. Oh, man, that would have been nice to go up to have a two possession lead possibly but unable to do so he tries to hit the corner route but ryan kerrigan gets the interception cpu pick at where it looks like we're taking this one back but then he fumbles it he breaks a tackle and then he fumbles it my opponent recovers at the two yard line we feel oh we thought we had him stopped for a safety but man i don't know what it is madden is definitely doesn't want me to win this game we get an interception we fumble it at the two in my opponent uh, play it tries to break a tackle that was unbelievable at this point i am feeling a bit demoralized we allowed him to get out of his own end zone and that hurt guys won't lie i thought i was definitely gonna lose that game after that play i thought there was no way of winning man wanted this guy to win with going back to the kickoff return where he bounced the field and a couple of drop picks and now turning the ball over. I feel like I've played a near flawless game on offense and just bad luck as my opponent gets a bit of bad luck of his own with a Mike Wallace drop but he kept exploiting these same plays as you see I'm playing fag D try and counteract all that and we force him to just throw it away after standing in the pocket for a while. You see he kept running that I believe it's the single back ace pair chief. He kept running that because if you don't manually man up the guys, they're not going to be able to press. And one of the guys just gets wide open for for some corner outs. As we're playing fag D once again, our opponent wants to keep running the same formation, the snugs. He finds Antonio Brown open for the pass. As in the next play here, we throw an interception. I told you that fumble, it messed with me. Not only a interception, but a pick six. That was some of the... That was just an awful pass by me. As my opponent, he goes for another fake field goal. Really? You couldn't just take your points and have been happy with it. And instead, he fumbles it. And we are down by six. At this point, I am thinking he can't stop me on offense. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make this a last possession. I'm scoring a touchdown on this drive. And he is not going to see that ball again as we swerve the spy. And RG3 goes down. Next play, out route. Pierre Garçon caught stays in bounds but second and one we find Josh Morgan and we try to just go down and yet he dived backwards weird play but next play we find Leonard Hakerson down the middle as you see we're running the play clock down next play RG3 incomplete pass we thought if we threw that we were lucky that was probably going to be intercepted as we hit Santana Moss on the out route for the first down and we go under two minutes this is where Madden players are made of are you clutch can you do it as we fumble, we get a lucky break. Maybe that's Madden's way of saying, hey, you know, we, we messed up on that play with uh, Kerrigan. But, so here you go. Giving you an, a second chance. Next play, we hit Fred Davis on the curl route. Third and nine. 30 seconds left. We're ticking, ticking, ticking. We hit Garcon on the out route, but he drops the ball. Nine seconds left. We hit corner route. Fred Davis, he gets down. We call a timeout. We have time for maybe two plays. We hit Fred Davis on the out route. We score a touchdown. And from here, guys, all we have to do is just kick our extra point. He tried to block it, and it's good. This video is coming to an end, guys. If you enjoyed, leave a comment, like it, 
subscribe because I got a whole lot more gameplays just like this for you guys. And until next time, I'm out.